TransWest Truck Trailer RV of Frederick. My name is Callie Say and I'm here at TransWest in Horse Trailer Sales. For those of you that aren't familiar with us, we are Cimarron and Logan dealers as well as we have a wide variety of used trailers available that we've taken in on trade. So for our new trailers, every trailer here actually gets run through our shop before it leaves. So that's used trailers, new trailers, and then lots of customers actually bring it back, bring their trailers back through our shops to service them when, when it's time. But right behind here, I've got a trailer that's actually available. Nobody has called this one yet. Um, it doesn't have money on it. So if you're in need of a three horse bumper pull and you need it right now, we have one in stock. So this, is, this right here is a 2022 Logan Coach Bullseye three horse bumper pull. We've done a couple little upgrades on this one just to make it, you know, we try and keep our inventory a little bit varied so that we hopefully have whatever somebody is looking for when they step onto the lot. This year's been a little different. You know, there's a lot of people that are putting their names on trailers before they get here. Inventories are at an all time low. So having one that's here and available is really, really special. So for those of you that want to check it out, um, let's go ahead and take this tour. So first thing you'll notice is we've actually changed the skin color on this trailer. Um, originally we had it as a white trailer, but we figured we'd dress it up with some silver skins. So they use an 050 aluminum sheet for these skins. It's a little more heavy duty than the, the 030 on the roof. It takes a little bit more abuse. And this silver color has been really, really popular for us. It seems like a lot of people like that it just dresses it up over a standard white trailer without getting too crazy. This bumper pull right here, on these bullseyes, they'll do a diamond plate below. And that's just because a lot of your road blast is gonna come up and hit your trailer right down here. So by having something that's a little more heavy duty, it's gonna take a lot more hits and wear and tear. It's nice to have this diamond plate kind of wrapping the front of this nose here. Another thing you'll notice is that we actually coat anywhere on this trailer um, with, with this vortex coating. These Logans are galvanized steel frame with aluminum sheeting. So the aluminum sheeting really helps lighten the trailer up so that it's not too heavy. This trailer only weighs in at 3,380 pounds empty. So that's pretty capable for a lot of today's half tons to just pull around really easily. But what we do is we actually protect this galvanized steel frame with this vortex coating. It's very similar to like a rhino lining that you might see. And what that does is it keeps your trailer looking really nice for a long time to come. We wanna protect this from any um, surface uh, corrosion or anything like that. This galvanized steel frame is really, really great because you get the structural strength of a steel trailer, but it doesn't rust like black steel. Galvanized steel is actually um, infused with a zinc. So it makes it stronger and it makes it more corrosion resistant. So we really like having the durability and the strength of these galvanized steel frames, but lightening up with these aluminum skins. So it makes it a really versatile trailer. So as we work our way around here, every trailer needs a tack room. We've got a nice little sized one here. One of the things that everybody loves about these bullseyes is that they actually come standard with these swing out saddle racks. Just makes it so easy. If you just wanna swing your saddles out, you're tacking up right here. Just makes it really easy to access your saddles without having to crawl in and out of your trailer. They're on a nice little gas shock so that when you get to your destination, they're not just gonna come swinging out at you and you don't have to worry about uh, messing with a hook or anything like that in order to undo the latch on these saddles. They're also a little bit interchangeable. So if you're not super tall and are never gonna use this top one, you can move it down to the lower position. It comes standard with, with three holders, but if you have a little too many saddles and you want the option to bring them all with you, we can get an additional saddle holder added to this trailer. Right here we have a brush box. It's got a nice little piece of carpet in here. So if you wanna clean this out, this is really easy to hose down. Um, you can put all your little grab and go items in here, brushes, fly spray, anything that you don't wanna have to crawl in and out of your trailer for. This is just a really great, easy place to access it. Got a nice little window in your door. 
Um, it's got a little lock, so if you want to keep it closed, nobody can open it and cause any damage that way. But it also slides open, so if you've got some stinky saddle pads or something in there, it's really easy for you to open that up and get some ventilation going through. So when you get somewhere, your saddle pads aren't mildewed and gross. One of the upgrades that we did on this trailer is we actually added a 35 gallon water tank in this corner here. And this is one that's nice and heavy duty strapped in. If you ever need to, you can undo these bolts and take this completely out and clean it. But there is a placement for like a bucket as well as a hose attachment. So it's kind of two different uses there. 35 gallons is a lot of water to bring with you. So if you're going for a longer trip or something, this is gonna probably get you everything you need for a little bit. If you wanna wash off your horses at a show or after a long trail ride, it's also really nice to just not have to lug buckets or, or big heavy containers around. We've got a four tier swing out saddle rack right here. It's nice that it swings away from the wall so that if you've got big bulky saddle pads, um, you can easily open it up and slide them on without having to wrestle with it. And then once you're ready, you can just clip it back so you don't have to worry about it swinging around as you're driving. Up above, we've got all the, those bridle hooks and behind we have this carpeting. Um, this is the same type of carpeting that we have on the floor. It's a marine grade carpet, so it's really rot and mildew resistant. Super easy to clean with some soap and water. But what I really like about having carpet behind is that it keeps it a lot quieter for your horses on the other side. Generally, you're gonna have a horse in that first stall. And so having bits swing back and forth is probably not the most comfortable thing for your horses to have to listen to. So by carpeting it, we muffle it, make it a lot more quiet for your horses right on the other side. Once again, you can see all this, all this wall here is coated in this vortex lining. It's gonna be super durable. It's gonna hold up really well. It's gonna make your trailer look really great for a long time to come. And a trailer that holds up well is actually gonna have a lot better resale value. So if you ever go to sell this trailer, upgrade or downsize, um, it's, gonna, it's gonna hold its value a lot better since it's gonna look a lot better in the long run. We've got our spare tire up front. Spare tire is the same as the tires you've got on the ground. On this trailer, we decided to upgrade to those aluminum wheels. Every couple years, Logan uh, will change their aluminum wheel design. And this is their new one, and I think it just looks really cool. It really dresses up this trailer. You've got the beautiful silver skins as well as these aluminum wheels. I think it's a really sharp looking for trailer for somebody that wants to run around or something that anybody can really hook up to. Because that's the beauty of a bumper pull, is you don't need an in-bed in -bed hitch. Most people can hook up to this. So if you need a trailer to get in and out for an emergency or if you need somebody to come grab you, it's really easy for you to just hook onto a bumper pole. On these lower panels here, they have a corrugated side sheet. And what that is, is they've given it a little bit of a bend and it just, it just gives it a little more um, of a clean look, um, a little more heavy duty if a horse is to scratch it. So having that on the lower side is a nice upgrade that they do on these bullseyes. You've got tie rings on either side of the trailer three per side, as well as interior tiring. So if you've got a horse that's a little grumpy, you can tie them on the other side, not have to worry about any horses fighting outside your trailer. Right here on the hip side, you'll see they have big bus windows. And these are not your old style bus windows. You can get a lot of airflow going through these. Um, they open really, really wide. They're almost as big as some of the old drop down windows. So. One of the things we really strive for on these trailers is to make sure that your horses are really comfortable as they're riding down the road. So we want to be able to have max ventilation and airflow, especially on these hotter days. And by having these really big bus windows, you allow a lot of cross breeze to get through there for your horses to stay really cool and comfortable as you drive. Underneath this trailer, we do have rubber torsion axles. Um, this trailer is sitting on two 3,500 pound rubber torsion axles. So there's good running gear under this trailer. It's gonna hold up well for your horses. Um, if this trailer is six, nine wide and seven feet tall, so it's gonna fit the majority of your standard sized horses. 
Most horses will fit in this trailer. If you need a warm blood size trailer, we also carry those. Um, we've done a couple videos on the ones that we have recently. Logan's actually created a bullseye warm blood model that is a straight load, but it has a lot of the same features as this trailer. So if you guys are interested in these bullseyes, but maybe you need something a little bit bigger, you can always check out one of those videos. We've got lights on each side on this trailer. They're little LED pedestal lights. So the nice thing about those is you can actually adjust them to where you want the light aimed. And they just work off your truck, or if you want, you can put an additional battery on this trailer and have those lights operate separate from your truck. We've got two different types of holdbacks on this, on this door. The first is you've got kind of this suction right here, this little pop socket. And the secondary is you've actually got a nice little holdback latch. So if it's not too windy, it's really easy to just kind of push this back in there and it kind of keeps it stable. But if it is a little bit windier, maybe you live in Wyoming and the winds are trying to run away with you. If you're trying to load horses, the last thing you want to deal with is having a door slam behind you. I've done it. Nobody likes it, horses or the humans involved. So you, it's nice that you have a little um, holdback latch right there which is a lot more secure if you need it. On this rear here, you have 50-50 doors. I've got both of them snapped back with holdbacks right now, so we're not worried about them going anywhere. This 50-50 door setup is nice. If you've got a smaller, well-trained horse, you just want to open one door. It's easy enough to get them in and out. If you want to open both doors, it's a lot more inviting for your horses to get in and out. It makes it a lot um, more open, less dangerous for you to get in and out. So we've got that option to kind of do it both ways. Once again, another pedestal light on the rear here. So if you're loading at night, you can really see what's going on. Your horses can see that there's a step up here that they need to, to pick up their feet. On this floor, on these bullseyes, we have two options for floors. This one we've done the, those solid wood floors um, and they're coated in that vortex lining once again. The nice thing about that is especially in Colorado where we're pretty dry climate, these wood floors are going to hold up incredibly well. Um, that vortex lining just kind of helps protect the, protect the top of those, those boards from any moisture getting in. So they're going to last a really, really long time. I know that a lot of people like wood because it's got a little bit more give and flex than an aluminum floor. So this is a great option for those of you that want something that comes standard with wood floors. If you want to upgrade on these bullseyes, we can always step up into an aluminum deck floor. And the cool thing about that is L Logan has this whiz-proof with sure grip floor system that we can put in these trailers. And what it is is it's, it's similar to like a polylast and it allows the urine to just drain straight out of the trailer. You don't ever have to deal with mats. You just hose it out when you're done. So it's a really, really cool system that if you see one of these bullseyes that we have on order, but maybe you want to upgrade to that whiz proof with sure grip, that is an option. So here, in here, we have LED lights for each stall. They're on individual little switches. So if you need to turn one on and off, you can. But it's just nice, the LEDs, they put out a lot more light, they're um, a lot more energy efficient, and they usually last a lot longer. So we really like that they've upgraded to all LED lights on this trailer. These stalls are 36 inches wide. Um, you've got 119 inches on the diagonal on these. So like I said, most standard size horses are gonna just fit just perfectly in here. The bullseyes, you get this upgraded extruded aluminum divider, so it's a lot more heavy duty than your standard divider. Um, it's got this nice heavy duty pad on it so that if you've got light colored horses, they're not just going to be rubbing against the aluminum and turning themselves black. This last divider here, oops, throw all my stuff, um, is actually telescoping, so as you can see, if you need to, you can haul with this open. Um, if you need to haul some furniture or anything like that. But when you're ready to use it, just as simple as pulling it right out, and then it slides nicely into place. 
Once again, everything in here is coated in that vortex lining. Um, these are double kick walls, so you're never going to have to see the hoof prints on the inside transfer to the exterior. Nobody's going to know if you've got a naughty horse inside. This holds up really well to horses that are a little bit abusive to their trailers. On the roof, you do have roof vents over each stall. They're really easy to manipulate. You can pop them in or out. Um, so this is their, how they ride clothes. But if you want to push them in, this sucks air in. And then if you need to, you can go the other way. And that actually sucks air out. So you can manipulate the air as it goes through this trailer pretty well. All right, so right over here, um, this is actually some people's favorite features about these bullseye trailers is their drop down windows. They are super easy to operate. Um, you've got this jail bars right here with the screen over it. So if you've got horses that like having it a little bit more airflow, you can run with these down and these jail bars up and not have to worry about bugs or rocks coming up into your horse's faces. They've got a nice pop socket just like those doors in order to hold them down and securely in place. They latch nicely closed, but the best thing about them is these bars right here make it really easy to operate to open and close. You're not having to fumble with a high latch or a side latch that's hard to use. It's just really, really user friendly, easy to operate. These are nice framed in windows. You don't have to worry about those piano hinges that are like the factory drop-ins. Those piano hinges over time will start to get a lot of gunk and, and grime built up in them. And then eventually they're not going to want to move quite like they used to. So we kind of eliminate that by having these nice framed in drop-down windows. Once again, tie rings on each one. And something to keep in mind is these tie rings are actually designed to break. So if you do have a horse that pulls really hard back from your trailer, um, they are going to, to break, and that is a safety feature so that your horses um, are a little bit more protected. So these are not expensive to replace, but if you need to keep one in stock, you can. We've got running boards on the exterior here, which makes it a lot easier if you're short and you need to crawl up in there um, to unclip a horse or anything like that, run on each side of this trailer. And now we're back at the front. So this is a really cool little trailer for anybody that wants a little run around. Maybe this is your first trailer. Uh, maybe you've got a truck that is really only set up to pull a bumper pull. This is a great option. These Logans are a more economical mo model for us and they have been a great seller because you get a lot of really upgraded features and a really great price point. So for those of you that are interested in a three horse and you need it now, uh, this stock number 5N210267 is available. It's here on the lot. You can take it home today. Um, I'd love to answer any questions you guys have about it. My name is Callie Say. My phone number is 970-309-6368. You can text me at that number or call me. I'd love to answer any questions you guys have on this one or any others. If this is close but not quite what you're looking for, we do have a lot of other options available as well as a lot of other ones on order. So we can modify that. As long as it's within a certain time period, we can change colors. Um, we can uh, change that floor system. We can keep those aluminum wheels or we can go back to the standard steel wheels. There's a lot of things that we can do to these bullseyes to make them exactly what you're looking for. So thanks so much for tuning in today. I hope everybody has a great day.